What's up YouTube, it's Alex Osh, 1234 here from iPhoneExpert.com and in this video we're going to be reviewing the Incipio Silacrylic case for the iPhone 4 that I bought at the AT&T retail store for $29.99. Let me give you a look at this case and I'm going to tell you how I like it and how it is protecting my iPhone. You can see here, the sides, you can see the back. And there you see it says Incipio. All right, so the back of this is a plastic, and they put this kind of barrier over the rubber part. Now they give you two, and this is a yellow one. This is the rubber part that goes on it. So let me show you what it's all about. Take it off. Let me. Sh Sometimes it's a little hard to get off. Usually it's pretty easy. There we go. All right, so here's the the rubber part. So this is a very rubbery. It's pretty thin, but it has a nice feel to it, and it keeps your iPhone from sliding a, too much. It does slide a little because of all the plastic on the back with the extra piece on it, but it keeps it from sliding off a table. So there you see it, and then you have this plastic part that part that you put on top of it. And this is very, very strong plastic, even though it's really thin. It's very strong. You can see I'm just unbending it a tiny bit. And it go, fits really nicely on the iPhone 4. So you can see here, the iPhone 4 is quite fragile. I'd say more fragile than the 3GS because of the two glass pieces and then the uh, sides that aren't connected together so they could break apart. And there's all the glass. So all you got to do for this case is you put it together and you put this little rubber part on. All right. So it's kind of like a sleeve. And then you stick this in. Yeah, that's what she said. You stick that in. And there you go. Whoa. So this case is very protective, I'd say. And it feels nice in your hand. It doesn't take away from the overall feel of the iPhone 4. It still retains that nice uh, industrial kind of feel with that boxed feeling and it's it's thin. It doesn't take away from the thinness of the iPhone 4. And overall, I'd give this case, I'd say an 8.5 out of 10. It does feel a little, sometimes get a little sweaty in my hand because I'm using it a lot. So it kind of, I don't know, feels a little, I don't know, maybe like a little slimy kind of feeling. So that's not the best feeling, but it overall feels pretty nice in your hand, except when you're using it a lot. And because uh, the plastic, it doesn't oh, wake off the sweat, I'd say. <laughs> but overall, this case is very nice, and I'd recommend it, especially since there aren't too many cases out for the iPhone 4. This is a great first initial case that you should get to protect your iPhone 4, which is a very fragile piece of technology. You can see here. It's relatively protective because there's that plastic on the back. And the corners, they have the plastic as well. So if it hits a corner, it should be protected. And I did drop my iPhone 4 from about 3 feet onto um, ceramic. And it was fine. It, nothing happened, luckily. <laughs> or I'd have to get another one. But, yeah, it, this case is great so far, especially for a first case, and I recommend it. So go check it out. And it's really nice that you get another one of these so you can change out colors. And they offer more colors like pink and, I think, gray maybe. I'm not 100% sure, but they offer other colors as well. So go check that case out, and uh, I think you'll like it. Thanks for watching my video, and uh, make sure to subscribe for a lot more iPhone 4 videos that are coming every day. And... Um, yeah, make sure to check out my website, iPhoneExpert.com and BestiPadWalls.com. And uh, subscribe on top, like below, and follow me on Twitter. The links will be in the underbar. Peace out. See ya. Thanks for watching.